so I just arrived in Barcelona in the city center where my apartment is. I have to wait a little bit until I can check into my apartment. They are still cleaning it right now. I'm with my two suitcases, but I'm so happy that I got to fit everything that I wanted to bring. I finally reached my apartment and it is really cute. I will make you a room tour but it's a bit messy right now because I'm unpacking my suitcases and it was the worst fucking experience I ever had taking these suitcases up in the fourth floor here. I will show you the staircase. It's this tight literally as wide as I am but I'm so happy to be here now and I will definitely take a shower once I unpacked this mess here and this is full of my clothes um, here's a little bathroom I already put my stuff in here taking my girly accessories everywhere I go so I will unpack a bit now and then I will shower and maybe I will take a nap afterwards and then I will go eat something but it has everything I need and it's pretty clean. I have lived in much worse apartments in Barcelona. I have all my stuff here and now I will take a shower. Finally feeling fresh again. I just did a little nap. It's now 5 p.m. and I will head out to eat something now because I obviously have nothing to eat here and Sadly, we have Sunday today, so the supermarkets are closed, at least the big ones where I can do like a proper grocery shopping. So I would just go to one of my favorite food places, I think, that I, um, I really loved when I was studying here. I was always spending my lunch break there and it's not an aesthetic or Instagrammable healthy food spot, but they make the best food ever in my opinion. I love it and it's so quick and it's cheap. So I will go there now. accidentally slept with a clip in my hair so now my bangs are standing like this so I just had my first night here in the apartment and I slept very well it is a little bit cold in this apartment because it's a very old one and like the windows aren't that like thick and you know like typical old building stuff um, but I just turned on the heater, so I hope it's gonna get a bit warmer soon. We have around 8 a.m. now, and I always forget how late Spain wakes up because everything is still closed at 8 a.m. In Germany, you could already do like grocery shopping at this time, um, and I have obviously nothing here because yesterday was Sunday. I didn't buy any groceries. I just bought some instant noodles, but I don't wanna eat them for breakfast now. I know there is a really, really good place for acai bowls, right down here it's called acai and me and it's i think it's pretty famous in barcelona and i will so go down there soon and get my acai bowl but it opens at 10 so i have to wait two hours i made 
myself a tea right now and I'm so happy they have a cute big cup. It's a little elephant, I don't know if you can see it. Very cute. So this apartment is definitely like well prepped for visitors. It's much, much better than all the apartments I've lived in before in Barcelona. I just wanted to journal, but I forgot to bring a pen and they also don't have pen here so I have to buy a pen. I finally managed to make the heating work and now I will go out for a little grocery shop. My comfortable little outfit. about you but I always love going into supermarkets in abroad countries you know and see like what kind of things they're selling and what the people are buying and I mean of course I have been here before and I have done a lot of grocery shopping in Barcelona before but I still always like it because it's something else than in Germany and I got the feeling that it was cheaper than in Germany. In Germany the grocery prices have been going up so much it's still like very fine like there are countries with much higher prices so I don't want to um, complain but I feel like here it's cheaper at least the things that I bought today were pretty cheap um, and now my fridge is finally not empty anymore <laughs> it still looks kind of empty but in the beginning I only had these Reese's in my fridge and now my whole fridge smells like peanut butter but my brother gave them to me to have a snack on the flight so I wanted to take them. I have my acai bowl. I think I will make myself a coffee now um, and then enjoy it here on the window. I have never seen this oat milk before. It's gluten-free oat milk barista edition. I am excited. home now. I spent the whole morning and lunch time together with Cass and Lucy um, and now I have to work a bit. I was spending the whole time here in Barcelona taking pictures which is also work for me obviously but the more fun work and now I have to do one of the less fun work which is editing vlogs and editing all my content. So I'm home now in my comfy clothes Actually, I wear these clothes always. It's not just my chill clothes, it's also my going out clothes. Um, and I will cook something to eat now. And then I will start working on my vlog because I still have to cut my packing vlog that I filmed for you guys. So I will do that. So my fridge doesn't give off a lot, but I found this truffle pasta sauce. So I will just do some random noodles with this sauce. My grandma would be so disappointed in me if she knew how much processed food I'm eating. But not gonna lie, 
I love it. I love processed food. I can't do anything about it. Of course, I also love healthy, fresh food, but I don't always have the time and the energy <laughs> to cook super fresh. So yeah, processed sauce it is for today. I probably look like I've never cut an onion before, but this table is very shaky. So, and this knife is kind of not sharp at all. So, it's a bit tricky. It is so sunny. I love it. I have the direct sunlight. I feel like all my vitamin D storages are being filled up now after this winter in Germany. <laughs> Good morning! I have spent the last two days on a PR trip in Germany. <laughs> so I arrived back in Barcelona last night at like 2 a.m. Um, and now I'm back, so we're happy in my cute little apartment. And I just got my first package here. It's standing there. I got this super cute Woman's Day PR package from Edenola and Edenola is one of my favorite brands ever so I feel really lucky to receive these kind of gifts from brands that I actually truly love. I'm wearing already one of the things, it's this loungy cute pants, some little goodies, manifesting, planning, becoming that girl and my absolute favorite thing. This candle from Diptyque, I already have it at home because Mati gave it to me for my birthday in January and I love the scent so much and I actually thought about bringing this candle to Barcelona just to have a nice like room smell here and now I got it as a gift from Edenola and I'm so happy and I will light it up later to make my apartment smell super nice. I was about to get ready to get myself another acai bowl for breakfast. I slept really long today because I was in bed so late. So it's already after 11 and my fridge is a bit empty so I will head out and get myself an acai bowl because it's really really close to my place. You can't see it properly because of the trees but the acai bowl place is basically in this house down there. Mm -hmm. 